I said, Erica, if I give up, if I lose hope, this ship is going to sink. The council was so aggressive. They said, you got to you got to get the operation now and you got to start chemo now. We had just adopted two kids, little Juju. She was might have been one. And then Kali, I think she was around three. I'm just kind of thinking, OK, I know she said that, that, she, that it's cancer, but that can't be true because, see, we just adopted these kids. It was like we had we was living in this big, big, big world. And then when that happened, it went shoo. When she found out she had, she had got cancer, she had just put in her resignation to work contract. So working contract, she had no benefits. Everything just started slipping. And then I lost my job. So financially, it, it, it wiped us out. Everybody saw me as a person that was, you know, man, Mark's got it. Well, I didn't have it though. I think every caregiver would say this. It's a lot harder than what people really think. I couldn't sit down and take a breath. The house had to keep running, had to keep dealing with the kids, had to make sure my wife wasn't dying. You know, Cancer Care came in and helped us with a lot of things. They came over and they helped us out, man, when we couldn't pay bills. I, I was at home one day and somebody knocked on the door and there's these two people with a, with a meal for us. It's like, you know, this is amazing. Now they're like our family. And the people who give to it and the people who volunteer, man, I just, I can't, I can't even begin to say, you know, thank you enough for what they've done. What cancer taught us was you gotta live for the moment. You don't have these concrete things to live by, so you just gotta live. And so that's how we raise our kids now.